The security update rattled the VRChat community, and the changes still linger to this day. The addition of easy anti-cheat barred players from altering the game through client modifications. So, is there any other way to improve the VRChat experience? Because even if VRChat doesn't allow mods, Valve does. OpenVR's Valve software layer in between your VR devices and VRChat. According to the VRChat blog, many Steam VR add-ons are still permissible, so long as they don't modify VRChat. So let's see what we can find to make life a little bit easier in our virtual world. First up is a program called OVR Smooth Tracking. OVR Smooth Tracking is a Steam VR mod that aims to reduce the shaky movement of trackers when playing VR games. I wouldn't recommend this for all VR games, but for VR chat, it can help improve your appearance immensely. You see, Steam VR attempts to predict where your trackers are going to move next in 3D space. This is great for some games where the software prediction helps aid tracking, yet it can produce some jittery visuals. For demonstration, I'm handing it over to my friend Jesse Blue Fox. He uses OVR Smooth Tracker to better flex his dance moves in in VR. Hi everyone, I am Jesse Blue Fox. I am a dancer in VR chat. One of my add-ons of choice is called uh, Smooth Tracking. Um, basically, takes all the jittery vibe tracker movement screws and it smooths it out. Very important when you're recording yourself. Also important for when somebody else is recording you, but to a lesser extent. So I'll give you an example here. So I'm going to turn off Smooth Tracking and I'm going to do a basic Running Man shuffle. So here we go. So you can see it probably looks a little jittery and it looks way worse to me. Like my feet are flailing like mad. But the moment I turn it on, you can see now it's very smooth. And then I'll, this is just shuffling, but any dance move looks amazing with it on. Way better than when it's off. It's also really important if you're only using three point Three, three, three drive trackers and not six, because if you have six, your knee trackers and your elbow trackers will actually um, remove some of the vibrations from your hands and your feet hitting the ground. So it's even more important for those, for that situation. And yeah, that is why I use, <laughs> sorry, out of breath, a smooth VR tracking as one of my add-ons. Thanks, Jesse. So, where can you find OVR Smooth Tracking? Well, it's actually not on Steam, it's on a website called Booth. Booth is a Japanese storefront for independent creators. You'll need to create a Booth account, but luckily there's some English on the website for logging in and creating an account. After installing, the program is in the bottom left of the Steam VR menu, and this is where we can adjust how much smoothing is applied to the trackers. The developers page recommends setting the HMD value to zero to reduce motion sickness. This is the value that smooths what's the actual headset tracker so it can affect your view. It's only recommended in cases where prioritizing your appearance is more important than your experience, like filming something inside of VR. Otherwise, you can adjust it for the hands and any full body trackers you may have. If shaky looking trackers have ever bothered you, especially full body users, give it a try. By the way, if any of these tips are helpful, please leave a like on this video and share it with your VR chat friends. Doing this will help get the word out there and help your friends as well. All right, so the next entry on our list is a little bit less VR chat specific, but given the length of time some people play this game, it could be nice to know about. LuxVR is a program that lets you control the brightness and colors of your headset screen. It's pretty similar to the feature on most phone or PC operating systems. This program is available on Steam, so you can search for it and install with any Steam account. After that, you can configure the filter in the same place inside of the Steam menu. So this app essentially syncs the time of day with the color temperature of your headset, reducing harsh blue lights during the evening hours. I will admit, the menu is a bit finicky. I believe this is made with the intention of setting and forgetting about it. You can configure the program to have different evening hours and even a longer transition period. So if you're a VR chat night owl, hopefully this subtle change will help remind you you're burning the midnight oil. Have you ever seen someone move up and down like this in VR chat? They're using a play space adjustment program like OVR advanced settings. VRChat colliders aren't exactly perfect, so you can use this to set your position right before staring at yourself in the mirror for the next five hours. Again, this program is super simple to install with Steam, but it does require some extra configuration to get the space drag to work. So OVR Advanced Settings is exactly what its title says. It gives you a ton of options to configure your space in VR, but to get started, let's enable the space drag feature. Simply navigate to Motion Settings and then enable it for one or both of your hands. There is also a gravity 
gravity option which will force you to the floor. So be sure to leave it unchecked if you want to float up in the air. There's also an additional step that may be confusing to some users, so listen up. You need to bind a button to the space drag in order to actually make use of the feature. The easiest way to set this up is to download an existing controller configuration from Steam. Steam actually has a super useful community feature which allows users to share controller configurations. I recommend searching for VRChat or PlaySpace. Here's the one that I use. This button configuration enables PlaySpace drag on both menu buttons in VRChat. It will open up your menu while you're adjusting your PlaySpace, however it will not break any of your existing controls. If you want to get more advanced, you can edit the controller configurations yourself. Just assign the actions in the OVR advanced settings controller binding menu. There are also a lot of small useful utilities inside of this program such as a keyboard controller, an alarm clock, and all sorts of other tweaks you can do. I recommend just looking into the different menus one at a time and seeing if there's anything that you'd like to tweak to your own liking. Rounding out this list, we have the simple but useful turn signal. This application is designed for a certain type of VR player that ends up wrapping themselves up in their cord. Someday we'll all be using wireless headsets, but until then, those of us with cords will be thankful this exists. It shows a very minimal graphic on the ground to show how twisted you are in VR. The more these lines bend, the more times you've been rotated in VR. So if the pattern on the ground is very twisted, you'll know when to detangle yourself. A popular Steam app called FBS VR also has this feature built in, but that costs money so it didn't make this list. Just noting if you already own FPS VR, it's very popular so you might not need this one. If you're a player who likes to turn and move a lot in VR, this will help you prevent cord tangles. My index was actually out of service for a while due to cord failure before I knew this existed. So there's a good reason to be careful with extra wear and tear on your cable. So if you know any additional useful programs for VR chat, let me know in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button. That's it for now. Bye!